Welcome to Dorman Products installation video for replacing the suspension air compressor on Jeep Grand Cherokee. This installation is considered difficult and should take two to three hours to perform. Before you begin, this installation requires a diagnostic scan tool with air suspension control capability, an OEM air suspension refill tool, and a supply of pressurized nitrogen gas. Warning, pressurized air suspension components are under high pressure, up to 220 PSI. Use extreme caution when working on these components. Safety goggles and adequate protective clothing should always be worn when inspecting or servicing the air suspension system. A sudden release of pressure can cause serious or fatal injury. Warning: Support the vehicle by supplemental means before performing any work on the air suspension system to prevent the vehicle from changing height. Any component must be deflated before servicing. Failure to follow these precautions can cause possible serious or fatal injury. If the filter has any sign of water or the suction hose to the back of the compressor has a leak, the valve block must also be replaced. Use the air suspension refill tool to deflate the air suspension system at the reservoir, located below the cargo floor behind the rear seats. With the vehicle properly supported off the ground, use the scan tool to deflate the system to atmospheric pressure. On the Diagnostic Scan tool, select Air Suspension Control Module, or ASCM. Select Miscellaneous Functions, then Deflate to Atmosphere, All Springs and Reservoir, and Complete Deflate. Disconnect the negative battery cable. With the right front tire removed, drill through the plastic rivets that secure the fender splash shield to the bumper. Remove all other fasteners that secure the splash shield to the body. Then move the splash shield to the side to access the compressor. Remove the four push type fasteners to disconnect the bottom of the front bumper. Disconnect the electrical connections at the compressor and valve block. Disconnect the air lines from the compressor, marking the position of each one with a permanent marker or paint pen. Leave all fittings in place on the lines and use care not to twist or kink the hoses during removal and reinstallation. Remove the three nuts that secure the compressor to the body. Then remove the compressor and valve block assembly from the vehicle. Install the new compressor in the vehicle, connecting the airlines to their corresponding locations. Connect the suspension refill fitting to the vehicle's reservoir, then attach the nitrogen supply to the filler connection. With the airflow valve in the closed position, set the regulator for the correct pressure, then open the valve to allow the pressure to equalize between the vehicle's tank and the nitrogen supply. Close the flow valve before continuing. Using the scan tool, confirm the air mass, pressure, and ride heights. Once these values are confirmed, indicating no leaks, refill the air springs in pairs, starting with the rears. Perform a short time fill first, followed by a complete fill at each spring. After refilling the rear springs, refill the reservoir to the correct pressure, then proceed to refill the front springs in the same way as the rears. Making sure the airflow valve from the nitrogen cylinder is closed, disconnect the refill kit from the cylinder. Close the refill valve at the vehicle reservoir, then disconnect the fitting. Make sure to replace the cap on the reservoir. Use the scan tool once again to set the ride height, then return the air mass calculation routine until the system confirms the air mass is okay. Clear any stored fault codes. Reassemble the remaining components in the reverse order of their removal, including the front bumper, fender splash shield, and wheel and tire. 